Hello, folks. Thank you for coming tonight. Ghost host. Well, back to the family. Thank you for 25 months. So good to see you all. Porterhouse, I'm very sorry that this isn't uh, Monster Hunter World. I feel like I'm eventually going to stream that. Just, just... I was, like, looking at the chat just now. I'm like, wonder if Porterhouse said if, it, if this is Monster Hunter World. For some reason, Porterhouse really wants to see me stream Monster Hunter World. Do you actually want to see me stream that? Or is that just a meme at this point, dude? I, I could. I, I'm pretty sure now that this, this PC would run, run that really nicely. Uh, and I just uninstalled a whole bunch of shit that was taking up hard drive space. That was an issue during last night's stream. I addressed it in my half-assed way that I usually address things. Uh, also, Sister Zot is here. I replied to your email today. Uh, I finally got to a backlog of emails that I had going on. Uh, I'm still trying to do that. If anybody wanted to email me about something uh, somewhat important, now might be the time to do it and, and try to dig it into them a little bit. Uh, Jellicle Cats, thank you for that gift sub to Indie Film. Back to the family. Indie Film. Um, this game, Emerald Glow, also. Back to the family. Hagerchaffum wants me to tell them more about my backlogs. It's poop. He means poop. If anybody uh, wasn't clear on that, yeah, he, he means poop. He means poop. Um, so Avajest is still not in the the, the Discord. Uh, why don't you just have Porterhouse? Why don't you repost uh, your Discord spiel for uh, for so Avajest real quick? Uh, while I yeah, um, listen. If you'd sent me an email and you didn't get a reply to it. I'm going to take this moment to encourage you to send me a new email. Uh, because now you can enter the queue for when I look at emails six months from now. I might see the email. Right? Yeah. So, anyway. Tonight, we have enter... Sorry. Exit the gungeon. Because everything that enters a thing must eventually exit that thing. On the topic of backlogs, you see how that all comes full circle? Back to backlogs. This is a sequel to Enter the Gungeon. That kind of came out of nowhere and surprised everybody, except for everybody who was following the development of it, which uh, just was seems to be everybody but me. A sequel. And it's quite different to Enter the Gungeon. There's a sequel. That's true. There's a sequel. Um... And it's called Exit the Gungeon. You see what they did there? You see how that's... You see how that's clever? See, you enter the gungeon, and then you exit it. Yeah. The squeak will hair trap, you son of a bitch. Pizza farts? Uh, it was Apple exclusive or some shit? I, I don't know, man. Maybe, but I'll tell you what. Uh, I'm not playing it on iOS. And you're going to say, whoa, whoa, Mike, wait just a gosh darn second. This doesn't look like Enter the Gungeon. Enter the Gungeon is a top-down isometric thing. Well, not the sequel. The sequel is a Tuohu-esque style side-scrolling platformer, uh, actually vertical platformer, but there are rooms. It's at, guys, I played it for about 20 minutes. It's really fucking cool. There's platformer sections where there's rooms, and then it seems like for most of it, you're on an elevator. It's a little bit like, um, a backwards down well. Up well. Call it up well. Up well. I know that how is not a platformer, but shut, shut up. Shh. Shut, shut up. Shut up and watch. I also want to really quickly thank Star Heaven for buying this game for me on Steam. Uh, and right before he did so, I was gonna buy it. Uh, I was about, I was getting ready to buy it on Switch, actually. And then I got a notification from uh, from Steam that uh, you know Star Heaven bought it for me and, and all that. So Star Heaven, thank you. 
if you're here. Uh, it's funny, I was just about to fucking buy it. But, I gotta thank Star Heaven even more uh, than that, because what Star Heaven actually did was was rescue me from the what would have been very infuriating revelation that I didn't want to play this game on fucking Switch. Right? The original Gungeon was a mouse and keyboard game. I mean, you could use a controller, but... Yeah, you like Isaac. You know, well, unlike Isaac, you're putting yourself at a disadvantage. It was like the opposite, right? The original was a mouse and keyboard game. I tried to play the Steam version with the fucking gamepad, and it was ass. So if I had bought this on Switch and then made the discovery that I was going to really hate the control scheme with the fucking Joy-Cons, I would have been annoyed. So actually, Star Heaven, thank you for rescuing me from the Switch version, because that would have been ass. Static. Feel back, Coda family. Thank you for 40 months of support. 40 months. As many months as Mike is old. Okay, so you're saying I'm 40 months old is what you're saying. Like, you thought you were being clever, but you're actually just a chode. You see? Now, you may be wondering, what's going on with your weapon, Mike? Why is it doing all kinds of wacky shit? Well, in this game, your weapon randomizes what weapon it is, randomly. Right? You're r gonna recognize all the weapons from Gungeon. Uh, maybe some new ones, I don't- I don't know yet. Oh, there's the- the frog. Uh, you'll also recognize all the same enemies who have very similar attack patterns. So, anybody who played Gungeon, uh, is gonna- is gonna feel at home here. And you'll notice that there is, of course, vertical jumping which they call vertical dodge rolling in a really cheeky way in the tutorial. It's actually quite comical. Even if you think you know what you're doing, it's worth playing the tutorial for the for the chuckles. It's got a good sense of humor. Sir Manuel is like, "What wait, what did you just do?" It was like you were flying for a moment and he never says the word jump. All right, white Guan stone. You see that? Look, it's all the same items, all the same weapons. It's just fucking vertical. So you ride the elevator for a little bit. You get you get a room. It's got all the same intense action. I would say this game is a a tow a tow how, in the same way that the original uh, Gungeon was was a tow how, right? Unless you want to be like, yeah, but Mike, a traditional Tohau uh, has to be 2D. It, it can't be top-down or, or whatever. I'm not remembering how to fall through the platform. There's a little bit more to get used to. Lame. Uh, you are impervious to bullets while jumping. Much in the same way you would have been impervious to bullets while in a dodge roll. Uh, and the dodge roll still exists, as you can see. So, uh, it's a little bit of a mindfuck, but, I mean, if you have any experience in Gungeon, you're gonna take to it like a fish to water. Which is, uh, a very fucking stupid expression, in my opinion, right? It's been tough for me to remember that, yeah, I can just jump to avoid bullets. You have blanks, the way you always did. You might recognize this bitch. But she's been combined with that really irritating mini-boss that's a cannonball, right? Uh, making her double the threat. Alright, little damage over time poison. I don't know if I like the randomly changing weapon. It's a little bit... I mean, it's meant to be unpredictable, but... Whoop. Almost bungled it. I'm gonna use a blank here. Getting a little scary. Alright, we need to get rid of that fucking thing. Oh shit, it's the fish in the crate. An anvil in the crate. Oh, this is bad. This is not good. The bad things are happening. This gun really fucked up my rhythm. 
This gun ruined my life. See, you see what I'm saying about the randomly changing weapon. I'm going to use another blank because this is terrifying. That knife in the wall is still there and the contact damage is what got me. Now, the first time I fought that boss, I killed it on the first try, so uh, I'm a little bit upset about that. A little bit bummed out. The pressure of streaming uh, and having an audience is definitely real. I'm also talking a lot. Maybe if I shut the fuck up, it'll it'll help. Not sure why it needed to be a randomly rotating weapon changing thing. Not my favorite. But it is what it is. Especially when you're going from a weapon that's rapid fire or full auto to something that charges and you're just like, Whoa! Well, I'm, I'm just fucked, aren't I? Yep. It is what it is, Jen. It's one of those really redundant, stupid phrases, like, not for nothing. We were talking about that with Fred the other night. Not for nothing, but... It is what it is. We know it is what it is. What are you, fucking Descartes? Shut the fuck up. Ah, uh, there's the mailbox gun. Everybody's favorite. And why does it, like... The intervals in which it changes from one gun to a different gun seems to vary. I don't know what that is, but they did say if you perform really well, I don't know what that means. Maybe that's just not taking damage. You will get a better gun when it when it transforms. You'll get a better gun. Maybe it means not missing shots. Uh, it, maybe it goes by kills or something. I, 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 I don't know, Sovages. I have no idea. Again, I've got like maybe a total of 30 minutes experience in this game at this point. Um, Nick Delcat, hi. I'm doing well. I love and appreciate you as well. Thank you for all the support. Uh, it wasn't fish in a barrel, Jen. It was the anvil in a, in a, in a crate or some dumb shit. I don't know what the... What, whatever it was, it ruined my life. Like, you saw how well that was going until I got that, that gun, right? Uh, Porterhouse asks a really important question. I'm glad I scrolled up for this. Because obviously this is a game where I can't really pay attention to the chat and the game at the same time. So periodically I'm going to stop and check the chat out. Mike, if there was a program that you can run to make any key on your keyboard slash click of your mouse, make any sound you want, would you annoy your streaming audience with all familyguy.wave files? Huh. A tempting offer. Um, but, you know, I mean, I could just make the annoying Family Guy sounds with my mouth, right? Oh, he was having a hard time with that. Grenades can't jump, it's true. Alright, so this fella actually does not do contact damage, if I remember correctly, the rubber bullet. But he is fucking annoying. And I got... HP! Oh, it's a fuck- Oh! Good shit, it's an item! It gives me another heart container. One of the best things you could hope for in the original Gungeon, I thought. You know, unless you were some kind of hardcore gamer that never took damage. That wasn't me in the original Gungeon. It's not me now. Remember having a conversation about how I got spoiled by the Binding of Isaac giving, you know, so many, like, HP up items as, like, boss items and shit. This game's like, nah, fuck you, you want another heart container? Go, you gotta buy it in the shop. Well, you could find them in chests, but it wasn't very common. What am I shooting? Guns? It's a bullet that shoots guns. I don't... I remember a shotgun weapon like that from the original Gungeon. And we have the shock rifle now. 
Amazingly, he's not dead yet. Don't like this. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Please die. Yeah, that weapon switch will really get you off guard, man. Boss time? Who the fuck is that? New boss confirmed. Buff ammo. Tor de force. <laughs> okay. Oh, he charges. All right. What is he vomiting? Explo explosive. No idea what to expect from this boy. Uh, uh huh. Oh, an item. I've become encased in carbonite. Yeah. Oh, it's the egg, right? The egg uh, gun? That was always a favorite of mine. The scrambler. Well, it wasn't a flawless victory, but it was a victory. And I got the Gundromeda Strain, which I remember being a fantastic item from the original Gungeon. How does the wind-up gun work again, T the Hero? <clears throat> How many people are going to jack off to that fucking Minotaur th guy later? How many people... How many people screenshotted that fella for the Spank Bank? So, speaking of furries... I noticed a new uh, new anime on on Netflix. Uh, it's called B Stars. Has anybody watched B Stars yet? On uh, on Netflix, it's like a furry anime. And uh, I watched the first episode last night, and um, it, it actually reminds me of Zootopia a lot. You know, it's got like this can the carnivores and the herbivores li live together type of a thing. It seems like it, it might be cool. I mean, a couple of times it's just its ham-fistedness and its stupidity made me laugh out loud. But uh, it seems like it could be cool. I just preemptively regret the amount of pornography that, that's going to be generated by that fucking anime, right? Uh, Darky04 says, read the, ma the manga. You like the manga? It's good. Apparently it gets really dark. Hagertraff says, speak for yourself, dude. It already... It seems... I mean, the first opening scene is like a murder. Like a grisly fucking murder. So, I mean, I imagine it, you know... Yeah, it has the, the potential to be pretty dark, but... I especially enjoyed the scene where, like, a, a sassy, popular, like, uh, schoolgirl rabbit, like a sassy rabbit... Uh, accuses a, another rabbit of, like, being a, 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 a hussy or, or whatever. It was... It's just... It was fucking dumb. Like, it was... It was just... It was stupid, but it was stupid enough for me to be like, You know what? Yeah, I, I'll I'll give this a fair shake. It wasn't... It wasn't stupid enough for me to be like, You know what? I'm ch I'm changing the channel. I'm not... I'm not gonna watch this. A hussy. Yeah. Yeah, a hussy. That's like the nice word for, for whore. That's like when you don't want to say whore. Is you, you... You know, it's... You want to be a little bit more PG-13. You say... You say hussy. Uh, if they were humans, would it have been alright? If they were humans, I wouldn't have batted an eye at it, but there was something comical about, like, it being rabbits that was just like, what? Like, I don't, I don't know, man. It just got me. And, uh, yeah, the rabbit was like, I'm an endangered species rabbit, and, and you, you know, uh, tried to come on to my boyfriend. Uh, and that was, like, apparently that's extra fucked up because, because they're endangered, <laughs> because they're endangered species or something. It was very, uh, it was very dumb. Uh, and it got, like, a, it got a chuckle out of me. But, I don't know, I'm gonna keep watching it. I'm, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep checking it out and see what's going on. Andrew Hussey is the, right, the ho Homestuck guy? Homestuck guy, right? So, yeah, his last name basically means whore, right? Uh, Sauvage just says, I've never watched an episode. I don't know any of the characters. But I've had people throw at least a hundred different porns of the show in, in my face already. I, I, I fucking assumed, yeah. 
Darky says it's not that bad of an anime. Shame it'll forever be associated with, with, with furries. Because, I mean, listen, when I saw it on Netflix, right, I was like, immediately, my first thought was, was, was furry anime. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't like, oh, well, here's some kind of, you know, same thing with Zootopia. Like, I don't think Zootopia was, maybe I'm... Maybe that's being naive when I say I don't think Zootopia was was meant to specifically be uh, a, something that was supposed to appeal to that fandom. But I mean, I don't know. Is it? Is it? That's. The, I don't know if that's what that anime is meant to be. Listen, if Game if Game Freak wants to cash in on furries, then I mean, listen, and and they do, and they do. It's kind of hard to deny that they do. You sure about that one, Chief? No, I'm not sure about that one. Well, wait a minute. Why? Why is it? Why does it have to be? You know, why does it have to be furries? Why? Why can't it just be anthro animals without being furry? I, I think that's the same thing. You know, I'll tell you what the real problem here is. I just figured out what the real problem is. We're all sitting here, perhaps mistakenly, automatically assuming like furry means porn or kink or sex because it doesn't you know it genuinely doesn't you know i know that there, there's people who are in the fandom you know and they have a fursona and they're like hey check out my fursona isn't it cool uh and they are not in any way shape or form like uh or or so or so they claim oh the creator of b stars is is a furry well that shuts that that shuts that conversation down real quick um, yeah, it, it, it doesn't necessarily need to be sexual is the point that I'm trying to make. Uh, unless, like, a lot of people are lying. I, I, I don't know. It's just cool to have, hey, here's me as, like, a, a cute, fun, a an anthropomorphic animal. Haha, <laughs> end story. Not, not jacking off to it. Game over. And it, just, and it just ends there. You know? I mean, that's it. Um, it is possible. Uh, hold on a second. I'm talking about B stars hallucinating honeybees. Um, no, it do, it do, I'm telling you, it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be sexual. There was something in chat that I wanted to address, and now I can't find it. Fuck. Oh right, Cal Dougal says Mike, your fursona is a shit log. Septic the shit log is not my fursona. That's not my sona. That's not any kind of sona. That's not my fursona. That's not my shit sona, shit sona. My first sona is uh, a, a raccoon. Remember, you guys made the one of you made the raccoon for me. Remember when Octane did that awesome art of the trash, the trash panda, Mike the trash panda. Remember that? That's my sona. Septic the shit log is one of my Sonic OCs, of which I have like ten at this point. Like that's not that's a different thing, man. So you'll notice, anyway, video game. That rat from the first Gungeon is uh, in the corner over here. And he says, take that key with you. If you survive long enough, you might be able to put it to some use. Foo, 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 foo. Orange Fresh Cleaners. Back to the family. Thank you for 19 months. So. Vinehart says, you got so many Sonic OCs and every one of them sucks cock. You are so bad. Well, that's usually the first bullet point that I put. You know how when, when people make a Sona, they have like bullet points about like character traits and stuff. I guess it's like a it's like a Tumblr thing, right? So for me, it's just the first one that I put every time I make an OC is sucks cock. Notice it's not it's not like is gay or like anything is bi or something. None of that. None of that. None of that. None of that. No no question of you know like their sexual preference. That's not it. It's just sucks cock. All right. And I remember I made my first OC and I put that there. And someone was like, what, does that mean that they're just, you know, like, like they, they suck cock at, at, at life. Like they're just bad at life. So for the next one, in order to remove all disambiguation about it or ambiguity about it, I put literal, I put sucks literal cock. So from now on, make sure you include the, the word literal so everybody understands very clearly what we're talking about, okay? Because I see people making OCs for me now, and that's a pretty important aspect of, of this, fine heart. So that's that's important. Yeah. So I'm going to take the key uh, on the topic of the, of the video game uh, that I guess we were playing. 
And you can buy an item here. Look. Uh, honeycomb. What does it do? I guess you have to experience it and find out through trial and error. Like, they're not going to straight up tell me what... what the item does. Is it blurry? It's it's meant to be a little bit retro, Porterhouse. Uh, if you look at the pause menu here, you know, they stylized it like a like an old school Game Boy or, or, or whatever, um, Game Gear, what have you. Pretty cool, pretty cute. So I have 120 things. I can't afford the liquid Valkyrie. I could buy a blank. I'm going to buy this. I think I have the hiccups, guys. Honeycomb. Be prepared. Probably the type of thing where if you take damage, it releases bees. I would... Yeah, I think the shop menu is a little bit too blurry. Porterhouse, yeah. All right, so this stage, it's got buttons. So you can move the elevator and stay out of the way of those ice things. That's bad. That's very bad. Ah! Okay, so I just discovered if you fall off the platform, you get teleported back onto it. Let me concentrate here for a minute. Ah! Uh-oh. You're a problem. You're a problem. You are half the Why aren't you dead? Oh, shit! What happened? Oh, shit. Not you. Anybody but you. As long as you're airborne, you're avoiding the projectiles. Oh, this is gonna be a game where you gotta you gotta sink a lot of hours into it to get the to get the uh, the rhythm of it and shit, you know. Hi, sexual tyrannosaurus. Thank you for coming tonight. Yeah, there was a lot going on there, and it was uh, no bueno. I have a key. I got an achievement for that. Hey, you did it. Uh, thanks again, I suppose. Even with those huge arms of his, Ox still can't pop these bars. Oh. Say thank you to our hero. Thank you for releasing us from this prison. This physical prison, at least. Oh, the drama. <laughs> the prison of his own mind. Anyway, as I'm sure you were aware, this place is coming apart as a consequence of the events of the previous game. All that past killing apparently put the whole place into a spin. We were in the process of relocating... Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, we were in the process of re relocating... Relocating... Relactating? The Gungeon Acquisitions Department to the bottom. Though we would try to help out anyone who is still stuck here. Find us in the Underbreach. Is that like a Grundle? The Underbreach? Hopefully we will have set things up by then. Thanks again. Missed. Okay, was just clicking through the dialogue. Didn't mean to shoot at you. I apologize. So I've uh, unlocked something in the Breach. We'll check that out uh, when I die, which will probably be very soon. And find out exactly what I unlocked. Who could forget the gun that says bullet every time you fire it? Pretty hard to forget, considering how annoying it was. Yeah! <sighs> Fuck. See, part of the problem here, too, is I haven't played the original Gungeon in a while. Making me extra rusty here. But no doubt, your experience in that game is going to carry over to this one in a big way. Good. 
So these things are dying when they come into contact with the elevator. Taking a lot of damage here. And again, besides the obvious reasons why you don't want to take damage, I believe not taking damage is going to make the gun re-roll into a better weapon when it does do it. This looks like a boss arena. And it is. There is the Medusalier from before. Okay, that has to go immediately. There's <laughs> too much going on! Don't want to be here. 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 What is this weapon? The mahogany gun. It was the mahogany gun. She's a bombshell. Yeah, I, I get it. Kabu Kamari asks, "Did you? Did Mike ever play N Noita?" And I did play Noita. No, Noita. 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 Yeah, it really anointed me. Was it good? Alright, let's start with this. How do you actually pronounce the fucking game? Let's start with that. No eater. No eta. Noita. Nutta. Finna nut. Noita. 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 Nut. Noiter. Noita. Oi. Nutta. Nutella. No beater. Nita. All right. Noita is how I'm going to pronounce it. Um, sounds Spanish. Played it. I, I streamed it once. And then I started playing it uh, offline. I got into it a little bit. Uh, and something incredibly bullshit happened to me and ruined an otherwise good run. Uh, which turned me off to the game completely. So let me, let me, let me tell the story real quick. I had made it the furthest I'd ever made in made it in a run before. I was in a part of the map I, I'd never seen, a new level I'd never seen before. And apparently some teleport juice. My, my character loadout was fantastic. I had great weapons, great spells. I was kicking ass. I had full fucking health. Apparently, I touched one pixel of teleportation potion. And it teleported me inside of a vat of poison. And I could not escape from it. And watched my full health just completely vanish. Right? And watched my perfect run just slip between my, my fuck- Like, I had to watch my health drain while I was completely helpless over the course of, like, a full fucking minute while I could not escape from this poison chamber that I was in. Completely submerged. There was no air pocket even in the... In, guys. I have not touched that. I uninstalled the game after that, and I haven't thought about it since. And Dorian Echo says that's roguelikes in a nutshell, but nothing that... Nauseating had ever happened to me in, in any roguelike I, I've ever played, man. Ever, ever. And I've played a lot of these types of games. That was bar none the most disgusting thing that ever happened to me in a game like this. So, I said this. 
I will check that game out again when it's in its full release. Maybe. Maybe. But I'm not fucking with that while it's still in early access. Well, that's the thing, Hager Trafham. I did not touch the teleport juice. Here's the thing I unlocked. So, it's how you unlock new items. H-Bucks, they call it. Fuck you. Huh, alright, so we could unlock... Hmm. Teleport juice. How much a month would Porterhouse have to uh, patronize me with to make my mouse click or spacebar play fart.wave on stream? Porter House, I'll tell you what. Send me an email. Where remember you offered to explain options to me? Send me an email where you explain options very clearly and concisely, and then I will I will consider what you said. Because I actually I want to know I want to know more about that. I want to know more about that. That's that's interesting. If you really understand that, and you know how stupid I am, so you're in a perfect position to try to explain it to me. If you can explain that to me in a way that my fucking Cro-Magnon brain can understand it. All right, then I will I will consider doing that once. Okay, once. But you have to keep in mind as you compose this email how exceptionally stupid I am. All right. Okay, so what should I unlock? I have 13 coins. Hmm. Not familiar with that hammer gun. I like me some bouncy bullets. Those are fun. The cold 45. That's a great weapon. I'll buy that. Now I've only got five. Uh, let's buy that. Yeah, that seems smart. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So now these things are unlocked. And again, that's the type of thing right there. We were talking about this when I streamed Isaac the last time. Um, I streamed it. Something that keeps me coming back to a roguelike is... A sense of progression despite losing the run. Like, I need to be able to go into a run and have something that I could achieve, even though I'm going to lose. And I love that idea that I could, you know, spend that time unlocking new things that will make future runs easier. If there's a roguelike where... Permadeath. And the entire time was just... You have nothing to show for it at the end of it. I'm probably not going to play that. Sure do hate this weapon. I feel like Noita did have some of that going on, right? What did Noita have in that regard? Well, you could unlock shit, right? But I believe you'd have to RNG find the item. See, there's items flying around, too. Is reading chat worth it? Typically not, chat member, no. Because if it doesn't, you know, actively distract me from the video game to a point where it puts me at a disadvantage, I'll look over there and it'll be something about, you know, whether or not... the Gungeon Man is a fucking top or a bottom. You know? Gungeon. John Gungeon. Apparently, the game thinks that the nail gun is a good weapon. I'm gonna hang out down here for a bit. Ooh, the laser rifle. Okay. Pew, pew.
I'm not sure what's going on with contact damage. Do you take contact damage from every enemy? Like, I think you did. That's how it was in the original Gungeon, right? So Noita only had, what, like, lore? Like, that was what you could find on your runs, just lore? This is, again, just another reason for me to not return to that game. It's like, oh, I had an awesome run, and then I died, and now it's... I mean, yeah, permadeath is part of the genre, but... I still really like feeling like there's a sense of progression, despite that. All right, it's a grenade launcher. You need you need a couple of seconds to wrap your head around the fact that you have a new weapon that behaves in a completely different way, you know? Emerald Glow, please don't open that can of worms right now. Keep that can of worms securely sealed. Oh, he doesn't know how to handle getting shot from the bottom. Okay. Oh, it's this cook. Oh, it's the Chancellor. Fuck me. Yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Tough. Need that. Mm-hmm. It's a tricky thing to get used to the dodge rolling, and the jumping, and the falling through the platforms, and the blah blah blah, and everything that's happening right now. I think once I get the hang of it, it won't be that bad, but I have to... I would have to sink a lot of hours into this game to be able to do anything impressive, I think, honestly. And keeping an eye on where the reticle is, yes, it's, uh... I only got one fucking H-buck from that shit. Damn. What do you think? Um, does it look harder than the original Gungeon? Blue! Prayer back here to family, thank you for 18 months. Appreciate it. What is this gun? What am I? Sh what am I shooting? Kirby's? Not having any idea what your gun is doing is a massive mood in this fucking game. Wow. Unfortunately, so. I'd be down to never get this weapon ever again. Oh, fuck. Game requires a lot of focus. Yeah, that was the one that fucked me earlier, Jen. But, you know, a game like this doesn't really open up until you unlock a lot of shit anyway, right? And again, I mean, that's, you know, that's why I like it. I think for a game like Noita, it's learning. Learning about the game. You don't get anything physical. 
besides the knowledge of how not to fuck up next time. Which... Yeah, you know, not enough for me. I like tangible rewards. Like, I wanted to like no Noita, and, and I did. You know, I, I didn't hate it. But uh, it can and should go fuck itself. Oh, that's fun. Heavy boots. Alright, so I have a little slam when I land. I'm assuming... Area damage. Oops. Uh-oh. The boots have been really useful here, huh? Would they run out? What happened to that guy? He ex what the I killed the grenade and he took the blast damage and died? What the fuck is that? <gasps> Low effort cryptid! <laughs> fuck off. What in God's name is that? Ah! Come on! Hey, this is gonna be one of those bosses where the contact damage is the, is the bigger issue, right? It's like if Robotnik was a cat. Uh, meow? Yeah, good for you, dude. Yeah, that's the joke, right? Barry Trio says, Noita would be better as one continuous game rather than a rogue light. You know what? Yeah. Yeah, you know, I think you're onto something with that. Jen says, Noita is like when you go outside for a walk and someone greets you, followed by someone kicking you in the balls five minutes later. You know what? If Noita... Yeah, was just... I mean, maybe they could RNG the, 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 the fucking stages and the weapons and everything, but have it be like one continuous... No permadeath. If Noita didn't have fucking permadeath. Like, each each run unique. You know, each time you play through it unique, but no permadeath. That'd be a fucking great game. That'd be an awesome fucking game, I think. Yeah, I like that idea. On to something with that, guys. I could get a white... Guan stone, or I could get the honeycomb. Ah, I think the honeycomb seemed cool. Let's do that. Yeah. No, it looks like there's another machine I can unlock over here. I'm gonna grab this again. I did use the key. Can I have another key? So apparently, people are sending messages to Nintendo asking for them to release Animal Crossing early. Yeah, I mean, look. Everybody's quarantined and shit. Can't go out. Perfect time for Animal Crossing to exist. Um, oh, we're discovering that the rat is the one who imprisoned all the NPCs. Oh my goodness. Uh, however, to, to think that Nintendo is going to release the game early. I'm not even sure they have the ability to release the game early. Oh. Uh, if you want to help them, you'll need this key. I'll give it to you for... Oh, now he's making me buy them. 50. I can afford it. 
Well, mm, could be worth it if I get there, right? Yeah, I think it's worth it. Yeah, it's worth it. Freedom not free, apparently. But Mark! They could, yeah, you know what? They could release it early digitally, Gambit. Yeah, maybe, maybe. But I mean, maybe they have other reasons why they can't. Who the fuck knows? But, uh... Eh, it'd be cool of them if they did, but... Don't assume that there's no reason that they can't, is, is what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, I think it, it's a, a well, a well-timed release for Animal Crossing, obviously. Uh, by coincidence, obviously. But it's kind of, it seems like the perfect game, uh, for when you're holed up at home. It's, it's cute, it's cozy. So I will say this, and I have to actually pause if I'm gonna if I'm gonna fucking talk about something. Animal Crossing has never been a binging game, right? Like, look at New Leaf, for example. It's not really possible for you to sit there and play fucking Animal Crossing New Leaf for like eight hours. You know, you can't binge it. You run out of things to do pretty quickly, right? I mean, maybe if you want to, then, I, I mean, how? How is, you got to wait till the next day. Are you guys time traveling? If you're fucking time traveling, then that's a different story. Sure, if you're time traveling, you could sit there for fucking 12 hours and go through all the, <laughs> like, the holiday events and shit like that, right? But, guess what? I don't time travel, and, I don't know, I, people who don't want to be cheaters don't time travel, Right? So if you're gonna time travel, then yeah, you you could binge it. Um, and I think what we what we all need right now are heavily bingeable games. And something that I've always wanted out of the Animal Crossing series was a, a, a fucking yeah, a title that you could sit there and play for eight hours, right? That has a ton of shit in it, right? Like the mini games, for example, more shit like Desert Island Escape, right? Um, and other things that I'm drawing a blank on right now. There's ways to do it. One of the things that I think is going to lend this game well to binging is the uh, island customization. You could sit there, you could spend hours, you know, fucking designing your island, unless they include some kind of mechanic where it's like, you use the shovel too much for today, come back tomorrow and you can dig more, or some dumb shit. But I don't really see them doing that, right? Um, Daisy points out in the early game, you could binge, because there's a lot of shit that you haven't done yet, right? But... Yeah, you eventually, you run out of things to do, you know. I mean, what would I do? Every day I played New Leaf, I'd go on there. I'd go see if Gulliver was, uh, you know, unconscious on the beach. Um, which you could stop doing after you get all the items, which I eventually did. Um, I'd go see if there was anything I needed to get for the museum, which I eventually got everything except all the paintings. So then I ran out of things to do there, right? That's what Daisy means by that. Um, if there was any seasonal shit to do, like, I actually had a lot of fun with the winter events, like the Christmas shit, like the snowman bingo and all that. Like, I did that every day for, like, a year, or for, for a season. Um, it depends. It depends how much things like that they put in the game, right? Not an ideal weapon. Yeah! And unfortunately, it seems like you cannot destroy those ice blocks by shooting them. Why aren't you dead, dude? He's got a jetpack. This is not good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.
Please die. Can I have the HP? Oh, thank you. Ooh, okay. I don't know how anyone dodge rolls. Me neither. But buying the key paid off. I almost didn't do it. Oh, you want me to... It's dangerous to open doors. Yeah, <laughs> gamers, it's the game of quote. Game of reference. The mods wanted to remove the gamer slug emote, and I don't know. I don't. I don't think. I don't think we're done with gamer slug. I mean, I, I think we are done with fucking face rig. The fucking face rig just tanks my PC performance. Like way, way, way too much. Yeah, sick today. Sick today wanted to get rid of the gamer slug emote. You believe that shit? He's taking a back seat because I can't use face rig anymore, Bungle Ceratops. Removing gamer slug is homophobic. Guys, no, I didn't remove gamer slug. Uh, Sadik says, sick is a moron. All right, nice take, nice take, interesting take, valid take. Um, who, who put the pog emote in? Uh, sick today, sick today made that. You like it? You like it? Take this advice. <coughs> Don't unlock on any others. Nice to meet you. I'm just an old man. Same. In fact, ellipses and then more ellipses. He's got a case of the olds. If you ever find me in the gungeon, I will reward your kindness. All right. Fuck you. Seems dangerous. He, he just keeps muttering. <laughs> I like that senile old Zelda guy. Yeah! That really should not have fucking, fucking happened. Thank God the jump functions as a dodge roll. I don't know how this would be playable if it wasn't, actually. But... Oh, not again! This fucking weapon sucks! Skull splitter. Good shit. Yeah! Spawned right in front of me and I couldn't do jack. You saw that? Well, I could have moved, but uh, I, just, I wasn't looking over there. I was looking at what I was shooting at. Jen, Pog isn't going anywhere. I'm sorry. Oh, who's that? Gungamesh, a king. Sick ancient Mesopotamia reference, bro. Oh, fuck this. What? When do I hit him? Blank. Mm -hmm. I need that! You have to die a lot to these bosses to learn their attack patterns and how to deal with them. So, um, again, if anybody came here expecting to see a miracle, don't, because this is the first time I'm playing the game. But let's see how many coins we got. 
Jen is talking about Blathers being a bottom. Good. Good! So that family group chat uh, um, that I was telling you guys about during the Planet Side stream, uh, they put in a um, a link as to some information on the uh, the specific species of bat that the uh, coronavirus is thought to have originated from. Uh, and when you click the link, it is just a giant fucking like black cock photoshopped onto a, a bat, a small bat, and it really looks like a Pokemon. Like it looks like it looks like a swoo bat. It's a very nicely done pho Photoshop, I do have to say. And despite knowing what was going to be in that link, uh, you know, I fuck, you know, I fucking clicked it. I I knew exactly what was going to be in there. I knew exactly what was going to be in there. But you know what? I, you know what got me? The FOMO. The FOMO, because I knew that everybody else in that group chat, that group text, was going to click that link. And I didn't want to be the only person, even, even with something undesirable, the FOMO got to me, got the best of me. Molotov, real back to the baby. Thank you for five months of support. I can't, okay, I can afford the hammer, but doesn't that look like a piss gun? The FOMO, Cabo Kamara. You don't know about FOMO? You're not a FOMO sexual. UV claim. Free back to the family, son. Thank you for two months. Yeah, lucky there's a family guy, curmudgeon. Yeah, the the Photoshop was awesome, and no, I, I cannot put this this link uh, anywhere near my fucking Twitch channel. But use your imagination. Just this small bat with like a really huge hanging dong off of it was it was haunting. Like the word is haunting. What's the Pokemon called? Uh, the third Zubat evolution? Gol nah, Golbat's the second. What's the third? Donglebat. This thing was definitely not aerodynamic, like, at all. Like, there's no way it would have been able to fly. It's too much weight. It's <laughs> too much weight. And I'm like, where are you getting these? Crowbat, yeah. Is Crowbat a scroll? A scroll bat? Well, you have to, like, get your friendship up with the Pokemon to evolve it, so I guess he is a scroll. See, I remember liking this gun. But, I don't know, maybe it's just... ...not very effective in this 2D environment. It's not the right word. Side-scrolling environment. He won't get poisoned, and he won't die. Looks like it only poisons at a certain range. Yeah, they're very heavy uh, grenades, Nguyen. What's up, by the way? Thank you for coming tonight. Oh, wait a fuck a minute. Did something just happen when I picked up the HP, even though I had full health? Got my combo meter. I have not been paying attention to that thing in the top right at all, chat.
I want that. Bomb. What do? I guess this game doesn't have active items. Like, remember how the original Gungeon had active items? And, I mean, I don't know. That's just as well when you consider how much is going on and how much there is to think about at any given time, right? Uh-oh. See ya. You need to go right now. He jumped over it, the little bastard. Oh, this thing cancels out projectiles in the blast radius. This one while lasted. Come on! Is the gun changing when I take damage, or is that just in my imagination? Like, I'm being penalized with the shittier gun... ...when I take damage. When do you die, man? Oh, the sword! Got him. Ooh, Zumba says, how do I get good at Planet Side 2? I don't know, let me know when you find out, because I suck ass at it. I don't know if you noticed. Oh yeah, they're definitely way more... ...lenient with uh, giving you HP up items in this game... ...than they were in the, in the last one. Alright, so you could buy HP. The Gungeon Pepper. Roll Bomb. Oh. So you could be like John Metroid. Um, I just don't remember what these things do. I remember the Gungeon Pepper being cool. Uh, they do very similar things to what they did in the last game. The Pepper damages enemies that are close. The Roll Bomb is going to drop a bomb every time I dodge roll, right? I wonder if that includes jumping in this game, right? Spooky 6 you <laughs> To the family. Although one might think giving the 17 months of subbage means I like the stream, I actually despise it, and I'm subscribing in hopes that Mike will retire sooner. Kappa. Now. For real. I love the stream and I love you. I love you too, Spooky. Buy my silence for $8,000 a month. That is how much it costs. Okay. $8,000 a month. What's up, Hade Creek? Well, I don't think synergies with guns are in the game because you only have one gun at a time. As far as synergies with items, like passive items that you pick up uh, that are not guns, then yeah, they should still be in the game. They should be intact. Uh, but there weren't very many of those in the original Gungeon, if you remember. And it wasn't until a significant update to that game where they included gun synergies, where you'd have a synergy... If you just had two of a certain gun in your inventory and things like that, right? Um, which one do I want? This. I think we're going with this. We're going to go with that. I have a good feeling about that. Maybe a blank? Was he selling blanks? No. Okay. Roll bomb it is.
Alright, my main focus is just gonna be keeping this elevator away from those cute. That was fucking bullshit. Away from the cubes. It's not going well. At all. It's a rocket launcher. And yeah, there are bombs when I jump. Check it out. Is this really conducive to life right now, this weapon? <laughs> Bye. Oh, shit! No! Not that thing! Okay, that went well. Lots of new enemies, lots of new bosses, uh, Brim Throne. There's bosses that lend themselves better to the new situation that we find ourselves in. With the side-scrolling, or whatever. Yeah, the rocket launcher is just way too fucking slow for what's going on here. But it is homing, and I do like that. Because, you know, potato aim. Gun boots, they go down well. There's that item from the last game that was the down well reference, which is interesting because I compared this game to up well. I said it's like an up well. Think about it. Don't like that. I fucking knew that was going to happen. But I jumped. Oh, no. It all comes tumbling down. Whoa. Yeah, okay. Maybe not. They are way more forthcoming with HP drops in this game. Wow. Thank you. Where am I? I fell off the fucking... Okay, so I picked up that item, and it looks like it immediately cha Immediately changed the weapon. <laughs> Get fucked! Oh, I got ruined. Ruined! Can I have that? Thanks. Really? Fuck. Oh, we ain't seen this yet. Wait, have we? Egnyan. Yeah, I get it. Horse shit. Okay.
Bananas! Yes! Woo! I had blanks up the butt. Wasn't using them. And don't quite remember what that does, but I think it's good. Amazingator says, my cat hates bananas. Find me a cat that likes bananas. Alright. So. I will buy HP. Do they fill the heart container? Yeah. And that was my choice. Yes, imagine giving an obligate carnivore a banana. Obligate. Are those balloons? Oh, what the fuck? What fresh hell is this? No! Oh, come the fuck on. <laughs> Can you not be there? Oh my god. Guys, this is absolute horseshit. Oh, come on, man! What do you want from me? The Halo gun. Yeah. This is on realistic expectations if I've ever seen it. Gotta get good, son. Who's got a small pinor? Curry mix? Nice. You have been blessed. You fucking little. Oh no! I clicked out of the window. I didn't think that was possible. I got hit by something because I wasn't paying attention. What a lame way to die. Did you see all my blanks that I never used? Yeah. Yeah, well. I must have some good monies. Yeah, 13 monies. Getting, uh, yeah, clicking out of the window just was not helpful in, in that regard, like, at all. The beehive? Yeah, it's a weapon. Uh, bouncy bullets. Do I want beehive or do I want bouncy bullets? What do you think? What do you think, chat? I can only pick one. Bouncy? Yeah. Yeah, I was leaning towards bouncy. So what do you guys think? Yeah, you know, I remember you saying you were going to email me about that porterhouse, but that email definitely got lost in um, the deluge of on-read emails that I have in my inbox. Do you? Could you send that to me again along with your uh, options tutorial? Thanks. Options is like gambling on the stock market. I know a person who knows a person who knows a 
who knows a person. And it's a true story. Who was able to turn... $17,000... Into $2.1 million... In the course of a year. Using options on the stock market. Not an exaggeration, completely true fucking story. Definitely an outlier, not something that probably happens very often. But it's the type of thing that is possible. And I guarantee if I tried to do that, solve a I would turn $17,000 into $0. Then they turned it into zero. They didn't turn it into zero, but they didn't. They didn't cash out. They actually did not cash out at the, at the two point one million. I have no idea where they got the seventeen thousand dollars. I assume they had like a a job or some dumb shit. If I had two million dollars, I would buy all you guys switches with Animal Crossing. That's what I would do. And a big house where we both could live. And I would tell everybody that this is your song. It might be quite simple, but... I had sex with Tony Danza. I hope you don't mind, I hope you don't mind that I fucked Tony Danza. How wonderful life is when you're fucking Tony Danza. How many people get what I was going for with <laughs> that. He's the boss of my ass. <laughs> Stop! The fuck is this shit? What is this weapon? And it's ruining my life. Oh, that was impressive. Did it do a lot of damage, though? Doesn't really look like it is. Oh, get oh, that's like a blank that I picked up. Okay, and it looks like it did damage to him, too, maybe. Got an achievement. I assume that's because I didn't take damage while I was fighting the boss. And in the previous game, you would be rewarded for that with an extra boss item, but that doesn't look like that's happening in this game. Oh, you have to be up close with that weapon, Daisy? Oh, I did take damage, so then what the fuck did I get the achievement for? Kermunja B says, if I had two million dollars, it'd be gone within a few years because my insurance would no longer pay for my very, very expensive medication. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. But maybe you could buy a different premium with the two million dollars that would, that would do it. I, I, I don't know. Um, could you also buy a college for us to make an official jab jabroni college? That'd be... A tremendous, devastating, depressing loss of money, but you know what? Yes. Yes, I will do that. You betcha. Green goo on that we're gonna buy the health. Yeah. Oh, I can't afford that because I'm an asshole. Okay. Green goo on stone it is. I mean, I had the option of 
not buying anything. Oh, I can't afford the... Ca uh. Seems like you really want to focus on buying those keys in the beginning there. Why don't the poor just buy more money? <laughs> What's up, Vermillion Lunacy? Thanks for coming tonight. Why do they not simply buy more money, darling? <laughs> yeah! Double, yeah. This is the second level, and I feel like it's already prohibitively fucking hard. Oh, f he spawned on top of me. Aw, uh, game, please don't do that. Don't do that. Anything but that. Anything but that. Well, you know what? Original Gungeon did that. Just spawned enemies squarely inside of your asshole. Bolomar, yeah. Oh, look, I'm a penis. Excuse me! Excuse me! I didn't buy the key. Because I'm an asshole. Yeah, you have to focus on that key in the, in the beginning of the game. Yeah. Early game, buy, buy, the, buy the key. Just buy the key every time. Lesson learned. Oh, he got angry. Did you see that? Looks like the amp does nothing. In the previous game, the amp would just sit there and shoot projectiles. Like a little turret. Be pretty cool if it did that here, but it doesn't seem like it's doing that. Well, that means I won't take fall damage. Maybe just for a limited time, though. Oh, that fucked me. I am at full health. I have two blanks. Look what weapon it just switched to. My favorite! My absolute fucking favorite. What is happening? Oh, cool. All right. It's going to be painful when this runs out. And there's a shitload of projectiles in my face. Oh, he does it twice now. O okay. Ooh. Bolomar S. Why is he throwing cum jars? Of course they're cum jars. Of course they are. Alpha bullet first. Don't remember what that is. But my combo number is very low. Okay, can buy some armor. Uh, Ring of Miserly Protection? Alright, I could buy HP. I have just enough for HP. The Ring of Miserly Protection makes it so you have more HP until you spend money? 
for something, right? Jazz Jen says, I don't see any titty on that bull. Get the bottle. I'm thinking I'm leaning towards the bottle, too. You guys ever hear the expression, useless as tits on a bull? So I guess it's like, well, it wouldn't be useful if a bull had tits because... I mean, if it maybe you, who's to say that you can't milk it anyway? If it has tits, fine heart. Maybe you you, you you can you can milk it. I mean, udders, because cows already make the milk, so it's as useless as as tits on a bull. All right. Well, the reason I'm bringing it up is because in college, uh, I I had a friend who insisted. So it was a lot like that Rick and Morty sketch where uh, Rick says, uh, I don't want to take it for granted. And then Morty makes fun of him for saying, oh, the expression is take it for granted, not take it for granted. Like, what are you, what are you, a rock? You take it for granted like a rock? So this kid thought that the expression was tits on a ball. And the first time he said it, he said it totally seriously, like tits on a ball. Oh, that's as useless as tits on a ball. And I looked at him, and I was like, T tits on a bull? And he goes, no, tits on a ball. And I was like, I I'm pretty sure it's tits on a bull. And he's like, no, it's tits on a ball. And I'm like, so explain to me how that makes sense. Because if it's tits on a bull, right, you can't milk it. So how does it tits on a ball make sense? And he looked at me with a straight fucking face. And he answered, because if the ball has tits on it, it won't roll, and it won't bounce. <laughs> dead, dead, dead serious. Dead serious. He meant it. He meant it. Because it won't bounce, and it won't roll. That's why it's tits on a ball. And I was like, dude, it's not tits on a ball. And he was like, yes, it is. Fuck you. And it just it, you continue to use it and believe 100% with no ounce of irony to it that it was tits on a ball. I'm doing this. For safety purposes. Yeah, who's to say that the tits wouldn't make it more bouncy easy, man? Boobs bounce boobily. There's a reason that the word boobily exists. Good for you, man. The bouncy rubber bullets are an especially evil thing to put in a stage like this, man. Wow. Alright, negating fall damage for a while. That's important right now. That balloon was kind of sexy. I'm going to ignore that. Okay, um, it's the game again. Remember this, this asshole? How much does it cost? It's me, your old gambling buddy, Winchester. I've developed a new wholly original game skill for you to master. A balloon with tits. Would a balloon with tits float? I call it. Winchester's original game. I'd patent it, but you can't patent game mechanics, apparently. Do well, and you can win chests. Anyway, do you want to give it a shot? Fourth Walt Hilbert. The first play is completely free. Then yeah. 
Yes. Tell me how to play. Here's how to play. Break as many Winchester targets as you can. Uh, to break them, you'll be firing a cannon. The more you break, the better the prize. And that's it. Let's go to the range. Okay. Interesting. What the fuck? Break the targets! Failure! <laughs> I can't wait for it to tell me failure. Okay, so you hold and drag. All right. Um. Failure! Okay, I guess... Oops. Angry bullets, yeah. They put angry birds in the game. Okay, when do I get to go again? Okay, I did the same thing uh, again. Upset avians. Yeah, I guess you can't trademark game mechanics. Guys, please be patient with me. I've never done it before. Okay, I was just trying to click to get the fucking thing to acknowledge my existence. Alright. Alright, you destroy the block. Okay. I hit one. I hit one. I did hit one. I get something. Now that was almost cool. All right. Take my shit prize. A med kit. Which, uh, I don't know, might heal me when I run out of HP. I think that's a fantastic item in this game. Grenade in the top hat. Not sure what the deal is with the top hat. Hey, can I just keep this gun forever? Master... What cannon? Is that a Halo reference? Good for you, man. Okay, I cannot handle that weapon. Uh-huh. There's no reloading in this game. It's like your clip empties and then the character reloads. If I press R, nothing happens? Maybe it depends on the weapon? Bolt Python. Electric Steel. There you go, MGMT fans. Well, I'm fucked. I hate this boss. Not the blunderbuss! Oh, this will wreck this fucking boss, no? Yeah, I done did it. Yeah, it's like, um... Yeah, I feel like Ammo Kondo is a harder boss than that, Daisy, but maybe that's just because I got lucky. Fat bullets! Fatter equals stronger. Fuck yeah, I love me some fat bullets. Any word on how fat Metapod is coming along? Haha. <laughs> Alright. Uh, 
There's a pink Guan stone, which I think is going to give me another heart, but I can't afford it, so I'm going to go for the pepper. Yes, I am. And can I afford any health right now? No, I can't. That's alright. This game seems to be pretty generous with the HP drops. Fat bullet girls, you make the rocket world go round. Ah, curmudgeon bees. A man of culture, I see. I am floating? I'm being flown by the, the space turtle? You can dodge roll. Uh, you cannot jump. There is no jumping. Uh, but you can go up and down via the directional. I took damage, apparently. Okay. Really? This is a mind fuck coming out of the last level. Not ideal to have this weapon right now, man. Can I not have this weapon anymore? Your NB curmudgeon bees. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, the meme is man culture. But apologies. apologies. Ooh. It's the strapping gunslinger who saved my loose skin from confinement. I can't thank you enough. That cell was much too stuffy for me. I will spend my twilight moments here in this spacious hovel. You were quite brave as to ascend alone. Would you like to smell my loose skin? Take this as a thank you for your kindness to me. Okay. You'll have more use for that than me. Alright, very cool. So he's not gonna appear in the breach with the shop or something like that. Look at this shit on the walls. Pac-Man ghosts. Alright. Uh, if you look over here, you'll see some rupees and... Uh, Maybe, maybe those are Zelda references. And then there's some... There's an old man quilt up here, showing all the stages of old man life. And at the final, uh, the final stage, he's a skeleton, pretty dark. No HP, though. That would have been really helpful right now. Look what it is! Look what fucking weapon it is! Man, I'd give anything for a fucking mechanic to like switch your weapon in this game. Oh, wow. How many runs has that weapon destroyed at this point? You know, I can't blame that on the weapon. It was, I fucking just walked into a laser, so. The med kit didn't do anything, Bio? Yeah. I, I don't know what the point of the med kit is in that, in that case. Let's finally buy the beehive, maybe? Hold on. I can only afford one of these. Probably the beehive, right? Yeah, by the beehive. Okay. Did anything new unlock? Maybe I can spend the seven. No, nah, it's still that. Okay. Skelecorgi is crossfaded. Don't do that. It's bad for your brain. That's how I ended up this way. Go 
don't want to be like me. You know what I've seen before that was truly terrifying? Wrap your head around this. This is the scariest creepypasta you're ever going to hear in your fucking life. There have been people who said, Mike, I want to be just like you one day. Mike, you are a goal to strive towards. How terrifying is that? How many people are never going to sleep again after hearing this? Yeah, Herga Trafim is literally shaking. I'm literally sorry, but it's the truth. Like, I want to be like you when I grow up. With no hint of irony whatsoever. Love how the charge shot... Shoots when it's done being charged. You can't hold it. You can't hold the charge and, like, aim with it. And I don't actually love that. That's sarcasm. It's pretty doo-doo. And I feel like that weapon wasn't like that in the last game. Oh, you could change that in the settings, Jumpy Bob? That'd be fucking great, I think. I'll fucking do that right now. Uh, options. Controls. Uh, auto fire charged guns. No, do not auto fire charged guns. Why would you want that? Here we go. It works. Cock tested, cock approved. I appreciate that those things can't hurt you, but they're still pretty goddamn annoying. Especially on levels where you can take fall damage by getting knocked off the fucking elevator. Based and cuckified. <laughs> Foreverly cucked. Hey, Porterhouse, does the uh, cucking dot men still redirect to, the <laughs> to this channel? Basted and turkey pilled. Oh no, the MLP is real. almost didn't take damage. Really wanted to see what happens if you don't take damage, but I fucking beefed it like an asshole. Alright, so I think I should take the key. Yeah. Because we still have plenty of shit to unlock. And it looks like I could still afford an item, maybe. Nope. Alright, well... Sometimes it just be like that. Why does he not simply buy more money? Oh, this fucking... He spawned underneath me. 
Wow. That's grotesque.